I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Antique Furniture Restoration, in Gorham, Maine. This is a nice uh, antique table, a uh, pedestal table. Uh, the base is really striking. I think it's really cool. Uh, I'm not sure how old it is. This little scroll uh, bit here kind of reminds me of American Empire. I mean, so it's definitely 19th century. But you might notice immediately that the top is too small for the base. It almost certainly is a replacement top, although it is an antique top also. The reason it's come in here is just to repair the top is very wiggly and I need to figure out how to repair that. Well, so we've got four screws to this wood. That looks like a new piece of wood. Maybe they were screwed to this top and then someone's also nailed it in four places. I think the first step will be to get these nails out and then take the screws out. Boy, I'm, uh, I thought for sure I could grab that nail and I can't. Uh, what I have here is a a hollow bit that's made for this purpose and uh, the outside diameter is 5 16 so I'm going to drill around that screw get it out and then I can plug the hole with a 5 16 down. Wow, this next nail has a head on it. Um, I can try to grab it, but I might have to drill around it also. And I think I'm seeing a couple of more small nails here. They're so small though, I may be able just to, to worry this block out of there. Great, this screw's just spinning. Jeez. Yeah, here are those other two nails. They bent out, but boy, uh, what a mess this is. I think I see uh, where there used to be a wedge in here. I mean, the wedge might still be there. I think that's what I'm seeing, which is good because I want to reuse that wedge. But I think there's a big nail right in the center of this thing. That looks like it could be a pretty big nail. So instead of trying to pull it out, I'm going to start my cut for the wedge with a hacksaw.
Okay, I've got this all cleaned out. I've got the tenon cleaned out. I'm going to mount it like this. I made a wedge that I will drive down in there. I already tried it uh, a little bit to make sure that I got it right. It's always kind of hard to judge a wedge. Uh, and I also made some little wedges. There's going to be some spaces here and there on the sides that I'll fill if I need to with these wedges. I'm going to mark my wedge so I sort of have an idea of how far I've driven it in there. thing so tight I thought for sure I'd need uh, additional wedges here but I think it's good it certainly feels good all right I let this dry overnight and so I'll trim this off and then start working on the top again to reattach it two nails out of here. But these cleats are very secure to the top, so I'll just be able to put the pedestal base in here. I'll drill a couple of holes through these cleats and then screws and screw the pedestal base to the top. of nails in two places here. Yeah, that looks like it's uh, sitting nice and uh, square to the pedestal. Uh, just a word about these uh, screws I'm using. These are old screws, came out of some piece of furniture. I always save them. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not uh, rational, but I just cannot use a Phillips head screwdriver on an old table like this. It doesn't really matter, but I keep these old screws and I might as well use them. Rock. 
you know, the, uh, the repair order on this job says uh, repair the loose top only. Uh, but it's, it's a little bit of a mess. I'm going to try to clean this top up some before I polish it. The first step always is to clean it a little bit. I'm going to use a, a commercial uh, degreaser here and uh, pat the top. Well, that seemed to get certainly a, a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, dirt and oil off this top. And now I'll pat it with a little alcohol, a little more aggressive. I want to see if some of these rings and marks will come out with that. Well, some of these marks, they certainly, they certainly look better. Uh, they're not going away. But uh, the top looks good when it's wet, so that's a good sign. I'm going to continue. I'm going to do this whole top with the alcohol, and then I'll decide on my next step. All right, this is sat overnight. Now I'm going to pat on some uh, tongue oil varnish. I think that's okay for now. I keep seeing a few little streaks here and there, but they seem to want to come out. I think that's good for now. I'll let that dry and check in on it later. Well, I let this dry overnight. Uh, this coat doesn't look bad, but I've got two streaky areas right here. Uh, yesterday I was just trying to do this very quickly. Maybe I was doing a little too quick. So uh, I've got a new, uh, different kind of rag, and I also put my finish in a little squeeze bottle so I can just put some drops. I may have had too much on my rag yesterday, so I'll try it again. Yeah, those uh, streaky areas uh, seem to be coming right out and shining right up. All right, that, uh, I've let this dry overnight. It looks a lot more even now, so uh, I'm just going to go over the top and the base with the uh, beeswax orange oil polish and some steel wool. There you go. Nice little tripod table. Uh, I only needed to reattach the top to make it sturdy. A uh, little bit of clean and polishing. Uh, I think it looks pretty good.